today we are lucky enough to get to do a house tour of this beauty behind me. An old schoolmaster's cottage, never ever been renovated, never been touched and also never been gutted. Are you ready to have a look inside? Come on. <laughs> Okay, I'm outside the front door now. And before we go in, I just wanna have a little bit of a chat to you guys about the condition of the outside of the house, because I don't really do this very often and it's kind of helps so you guys can know what to look out for. So first and foremost, the outside of the house is really, really nice quality. It's cut stone, it's nicely pointed, nicely maintained. So this is a plus, this is a really, really good thing. You have sash windows the whole way around the place. Now I'm gonna go back out into the sun now so it could be hard to see this, but basically any of them that have glass broken are boarded up and there is some damage as you can see to the bottoms of the windows, which is kind of to be expected. So I wouldn't really worry about that massively. It is repair work that needs to be done, but it's kind of expected and it's not the most expensive thing that you're ever gonna to have to do. Now, other than that, if you look above me here, you'll see that there is still guttering in place on the house. So you have water being kept away from the walls, which is probably one of the reasons why everything is in quite nice condition here. You have that gray wire, which is power coming in, little yard light there. So these are all really, really big pluses when it comes to the condition of the place. You have a functioning front door that locks, which is more than I got with my one. So let's have a look and see what the roof is like. Okay, so roof wise, that chimney looks to have been redone in quite recent years and the roof itself isn't in terrible condition. There's a couple of slates slipped on it, but other than that, I think it actually looks quite good. There's another one of those windows now where it's been boarded up. But if you look in behind it, you'll see the little decorative parts of the upper sash. Look at that stonework, lads. This is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely a lot of money put into this little place when it was built. Now, one of the things I love about this place while I'm out here as well has to be these little gates. You have one here, you've also got one down at the road. And get a load of that view. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Far as the eye can see. Right. We go have a look inside? Come on. So when you have an old place like this, that's not a vernacular cottage, it's more so something that was built probably on a landed estate or something like that. You tend to have these little touches that you just don't get in the places that I normally look at. So I'm going to flip around now and I'm going to show you some of the little things that are on this place that I just absolutely love and that really, really need to be saved. Okay, so first off, when it comes to doors and like ironmongery and hardware, you really are not going to get much better than these little Victorian places. You have cast iron rain goods here. You have, <laughs> how epic. You have a lovely boot scraper down here. Just have a look at this. Look at that. And even when you go along a ground level here, your little vents aren't made out of bricks sitting on their sides. These are again, little cast iron things that just look so, so nice. Okay, we go inside. Come on then, let's do this. Okay, so when you come in first, you have the back of that gorgeous window. Let me just stand back here a sec that we were looking at earlier. Just a little hall with beautiful little tiles. Hooks here and your power up there. Now this is an older board than what we will be used to nowadays, but it's still something that can be upgraded. It's something that can be worked on. So this is a big plus to have this. So this is our little entrance door at the back. And then we come in here. So originally this would have been one of the main rooms in here. We have wooden floors. We have a fireplace that's quite modern. I mean, this isn't 
as old as some of the stuff that's in the place, but it's still old to us, I think. <laughs> we have a little seating area here. I'll stand back as far as I can now so you can get a look at everything. So there's our little seating area, our fireplace. This is the door I just walked in through. We have ooh, lots of sunshine. We have a really, really nice double sash window there, which is absolutely lovely. And little shutters there on either side. Obviously this window has <laughs> seen better days, but when you look up at the top of a sash window and you actually see the parts that weren't really affected by rain as much, you actually see they're in quite nice condition. So like, sure, we need work done down here, but these can be repaired and it's something you definitely should look into before shelling out and buying a full new set. In here as well, I really love the fact that we have this sink. I mean, it's far from pretty, but it does the job. It means there's water in the house, which is a really, really big thing. You have little switches here. Ooh, sunshine. Let's see, can I see this? There we go, right? Now, up here, we have an old Latin plaster ceiling, which is the way plaster was put up on ceilings back in the day. It tends to have a lifespan. It tends to fall down over time. But really, all you're doing ultimately is pulling down all these little bits of timber, which go the whole way across. They're not structural. Pull down the plaster and get the thing replastered again in a more modern and efficient way. Um, over this side, then, we have two doors. Let me go back here so you can have a quick look. So this one goes into another room and this one leads out to the stairs and to the little back kitchen. So first off, I'm going to go and show you guys this here. So let's go have a look. So this is our second downstairs room. So I'm going to get back into a corner. The sun is so strong in here. So we have a window here. We have a little lofted area up above us here, really nice ceiling heights. I mean, even if you weren't going to loft it like they have, just even having that height here is really, really nice. Now, I'm gonna come back in here so we can have a look at the rest of the room. So that's another window. So these are our two windows here, so you get kind of an idea. I mean, aren't the windows just amazing? I kind of feel like this lofted area here is kind of handy because you have a lot of height that's not really being used and even having a bit of storage here is a really, really nice idea. Now, I'm going to broach floors in this room first because the floors do seem to be a bit of an issue here. They're not in massively great condition. They're suspended floors. And what that means is basically they don't sit on the ground like the way flagstones or tiles or anything would sit directly on the ground. There's a gap underneath and it lets the timber floors just air and breathe but they have a lifespan again, especially if a house isn't lived in. So these ones do seem to have little <laughs> holes in different places, in different rooms. So it's something that you would probably need to put onto your list of jobs to do if you were thinking about buying this place. Okay, are you ready to see the kitchen? Of course you are, come on. So this door here brings us to the back half of the house. We have our kitchen and lots of other fun stuff. So let's have a look. Ooh, nice tiles. So in here we have staircase, bathroom, kitchen. Lovely floor. So where are we going to go first? I think we should do the kitchen, will we? So this is our kitchen here. Now it's a little bit dark, but... This back door opens. I had it open earlier, so we get to actually look at our kitchen in all its glory. <laughs> look at the stove. This stove is mad. I'm going to come back to that in a second. Bathroom across the hall. Little built in here, which just shows you under the stairs, which is in quite nice nick for a building this old, so I'm quite happy with this. And then back out. 
<laughs> this is your kitchen. So what have we got over here? We have this door here, which I just opened, which leads into a little walled back garden. We have another gorgeous sash window that needs a little bit of repair work done on it. We have room here for probably maybe a sink or something. Little shelves. I love the way they used to do this two-tone colour. God, it's real school kind of paint, isn't it? <laughs> and then this. Look at that. Now, let's have a closer look at this. Okay, we're going to talk about this. So what you have here is a really, really, really nice little solid fuel cooker. Now, let's have a look and see. Can we see what kind it is? So it says thermodial on the front. And basically the way these work is you have an oven here, a little firebox here where you put your sticks and all in. Then this is your little rattler grate down below so you can clear your ashes and stuff like that out. And basically your fire in here heats your oven in here and you can bake your bread, but you can also boil your kettle and cook your stew. And in this one, because it's quite fancy, you also get to heat water. If you look at this, let me just can I show you the look. See, it has a little tap. Oh my God, I'm so bad at this. Okay, ooh, there. <laughs> you have a little tap down here to see one of these water ones in place is a really, really nice thing. And it's quite rare and something that you should save and try and keep it in the house. I mean, doesn't it just fit perfectly? Sure, what else are you gonna put in there apart from that? Okay, lots more to see. Let's go and have a look at this bathroom, by the way. Come on. So I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this bathroom. On the one hand, I'm loving the window. I'm loving the cast iron bath. I'm loving that wash hand basin and glue, seriously. But <laughs> not so much loving this. That's a hole. This is again these suspended floors that I was talking to you about before. Have issues with them in this house. They do need to be replaced. But holy moly, if you even dream about getting rid of that bathroom suite, I will come down and I will haunt you when I die. Look at that. That's substantial. Really substantial. God, they made presses big back in the day, didn't they? This is obviously an old hot press. Yep, there we go. There's our cylinder there. Taking up a hell of a lot of room in this little bathroom, so it would be nice maybe to get that put even into a corner or something. But I suppose back in the day, these had a lot more use than just holding a cylinder. They were probably the only place in the house where you could really dry and keep clothes aired, so... Maybe them having pride a place like this was for a reason, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm back out in the hall. Are you ready to see up these stairs? Now, these stairs look quite new. I mean, they look like they've been repaired. If you look at the original parts, which are here, and you see this like white painted bits here, quite old. These look like they've been repaired at some stage in their lives. So that's a really, really nice thing. And they're quite sturdy. Lads, these people loved having these little teeny tiny windows on the stairs, didn't they? Look at all the size of that. It's only tiny. <laughs> Look at it down there. So we twist around up here. Let's see now if I can get a good shot for you guys. And this is our upstairs. I'll probably get a way better shot when I'm up there. Now this is solid. This doesn't feel particularly, you know, hinky, I suppose, for want of a better word. So this is our stairs we just came up. Let me just have a look down there now. Little land in here. I like this. I think this is in quite nice condition. So we have two rooms up here, a really nice landing. I mean, this is a big landing and we have 
light from both rooms coming in, which is lovely. And I know there's no getting away from that fireplace because you've already seen it. So come on, let's get in and have a look at this one. Now you only think that this fireplace is the best part of this room, but just wait till you see this window. You ready? This is absolutely fab. We have some cracks there that might need to be addressed. This is an internal wall, so not the most worrisome, but still something you're gonna to need to get checked out. And our floors are nice and solid. So I like this one. So we've one more, look at that landing. Look at the sun. Can you imagine just being up here, wandering around from room to room in your bare feet? Probably sweep first. So this is our second one. We have another glorious window. Look at that. Look at that Tipperary sunset going down. So we have that same Latin plaster on the ceiling that needs to be repaired here. A little bit of it over here too. And look at this. Another fireplace. Ooh. Now let's stand out of the light so we can get a good look. Isn't that fab? And this is a big fireplace for a bedroom fireplace. Like this isn't those little teeny tiny ones that you see painted baby pink all over the place. This is substantial. And there you can see in here and what the walls look like as well so you're still dealing with that beautiful stone on the outside but that just at least shows you what's in behind that plasterboard so that's it it's me two rooms god this landing's great so in here obviously you can't walk past a built-in without looking in we have a water tank and I suppose a little bit of attic space. If you could lay it out a little bit better, you might be able to get some attic space in there. And this is it. So, what do you think? You wanna go outside? Right, let's do this. Okay, so outside we have this little walled garden with little sheds. This is the back of our gorgeous house. Isn't that just magnificent? That sun is driving me bonkers, lads, I'm sorry. I'd be giving out if it was raining because I wouldn't be outside at all, but. So, and through this gate, sorry, I'll step back. This is where I'm going now, look. So through this gate, we have a little garden. Here, ah, the sun, and then we have this going up here. And obviously, that goes around to the front up there. And a fantastic, ingenious rainwater harvesting system. Now, look at that! Isn't that epic? <laughs> very, very cool. So, I'm thinking I can get a better look at these sheds from here. So basically you have, they look like fairly modern little structures, little cement block or poured concrete built. We've a little galvanized one down here at the end. And I would assume that maybe this little one here is probably original and quite old. So let's go have a look and see what's in that without getting blinded by this sun. Now, I would bet money that that used to be where the loo was back in the day. It's the right size. It's stone built, which is different than these other ones here. So I'd say that's the only original one, more than likely there. 
right. So that's her. She's going up for auction soon with an AMV of 90,000, which to be fair, is really, really reasonable. She doesn't have land as such, but that garden you saw at the back works out at around 0.2 of an acre. And for a garden, it's a really, really nice size. And with the little outbuildings and the little walled area and your lovely gates, it just feels like a nice size. I mean, it's not too big, but it's definitely not too small. It's definitely enough room for a couple of kitties to play around or for you to sit out and have a picnic or a barbecue, which is really all you need. So there you have it. If you like this house tour, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And then the next time I have one of these, you're going to know because it's going to come up on your feed. Thank you for watching. Bye.